German Catholic officials ask reporters for silence on child abuse report. Oh. The Archdiocese of Cologne called for a press conference on Tuesday, January 5th, to discuss an unpublished report investigating child abuse in the German Catholic Church. Specifically, church officials were to explain issues regarding the report's methodology. According to Cologne Archbishop um, Rainer Maria Von Volke, these issues were the reason for withholding the current document from the public. The church representatives said that they would show journalists a redacted version of the report. They also asked reporters to sign a pledge to keep the contents secret, including information on crimes, alleged perpetrators, and impl implicated church officials. The agreement said, quote, the journalist commits himself to exercise absolute silence regarding this information, end quote. All journalists at the event refused to sign the statement. And in fact, this article even says that they just walked out. They walked out of this press conference. The journalists just walked out? Yeah. They're like, screw you. Yeah. Great job, journalist, eh? Yeah. Um, why are these people not being just like arrested for withholding this information? Isn't that like a crime? Like, I don't know how, how these laws work, but if I had, like, if, because I don't know, I'm very ignorant about this, but if I had to guess, if you have information about people committing crimes and you're holding it and you're just not just making it public, isn't that like aiding criminal activity in some way? Like, mm -hmm. aren't, these, aren't these supposed people are supposed to just like be put in handcuffs right now, all of them, every single person that knows and refuses to make this public? Shouldn't there be like a whole army of police just raiding this whole place and just just grabbing this inf information without permission? It's Isn't that wild. what's supposed to be happening? Well, I don't know. Okay, so this is um, an, uh, Cardinal Volke promised an independent and comprehensive investigation into sexual abuse in his diocese two years ago. However, in October 2020, victims were told the ensuing report was, quote, not legally airtight, no, not legally watertight and contained, quote, inadmissible prejudices. The new version of the report is expected to be released in March of this year. The decision to withhold the document until it's reworked has already caused backlash in Germany. The law firm which drew up the report also decried the delay. And Volke himself faces accusations of failing to inform the Vatican about a sexual abuse allegation. Okay. So it's it it's there's what there's just something shady going on here. So this is, you know, supposedly an independent investigation. So this is independent from the state, right? Um, and they're saying that this is not legally watertight and contained inadmissible prejudices. Hmm. Legally watertight for who? And inadmissible prejudices against whom? against just, the accused against is there a prejudice against the church is there a president prejudice in favor of the church wait so mom was saying saying so turkey is handling their uh, pedo caused problems better than germany i see um i don't know guys i don't know how what the law about this is so i'm gonna just claim ignorance i just i'm just guessing if this was a different organization there would be a different standard maybe i don't know Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if this was, I don't know, Google, okay? And they had reports of child uh, no-nos. We already oh. said child abuse. Yeah. Inside Google, in the same numbers that you see in the Catholic Church. Do you think, like, there wouldn't be a different reaction? Do you not think, like, every, like, every single official in Google would be in handcuffs and, like, not, like, all the people that were involved, if Google had information that it was not releasing, there would be criminal charges, like, in, let's say, that this, like, Google's offices in Germany was doing this, wouldn't Germany be, like, shutting down every single office of Google in Germany? Like, wouldn't you think, like, there would be, like, some extreme, like, justifiably extreme reaction? Mm -hmm. 
to all of this if this was like happening in an offices of a different organization that was not religious like i'm not i can't really say this for sure because i'm like trying to be always skeptical but i think there is some religious privilege happening <laughs> I just, I just, I just talk like a hint of religious privilege here. Happening, okay? Even in freaking Germany, okay? I mean, if we have this, I, I know, again, I can't be sure, but if we have this degree of religious privilege in Germany, imagine what's happening in Iran and in Saudi Arabia and in Pakistan and in Bangladesh. Like, this is the best we can get right like germany is like one of the best that we could get like and this is the best is this so yeah i mean i get at least australia is setting some precedent in doing taking the proper action so all hopes to yeah let's keep let's keep um promoting australia's method hopefully some current other countries like isn't this like such an easy win for politicians mm. right now like, how much support did the, does the Catholic Church have among people? Like, wouldn't this be like, wouldn't like we need to make it so obvious for politicians in different countries that this would be such an easy like people would vote for you, people would be like, yay, finally! Like, if you make this your flagship, like your, you know, something that you um, wage war on, right? Like you become like the senator or this congressperson or this MP or this whatever or this mayor or this governor in this one country that you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to lead this. I'm going to go aggressively against the Catholic Church. Isn't that worth some votes or some people coming out and clapping and making your political career uh, go forward faster? We have to signal to politicians that this would be popular to make this happen. I don't know. Um it's pretty wild. Reza, I'm saying Germany is not very secular. Yep. I mean, I know that the church in Germany and even the mosques in Germany have a lot of privileges. So there is that. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not where's your copy Susanna get it get it get it they're doing promotion you get a free it's not even promotion it's free okay so if you subscribe to our newsletter link in the description you get a free copy of why there's no God ah come on like I'm handing it out for free okay it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free so subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of why there's no God sent to you link in the description